Hey guys, Frontwoods Farmer. Welcome back to the channel for another episode of the $500 farm truck. Now, together today, we're gonna learn on an 8060 150 how to change a fuel filter. Now, if you're used to these small little canister filters, let me flip around the camera. Like, oh, that's pretty easy. No, this one's a little different. We're gonna learn together today why this one has three fuel outlets. Now, if you do have these 80 series D100 trucks, I guess you'd call them D150s. Now that little filter is actually, you can't even see it right now. Let me go down right by the engine, pumping all the way up to your Rochester uh, Quadrajet carburetor. So today we're gonna get the new one, fit it up to the truck, figure out why it has three ports on it and hopefully get our truck running. So let's flip it around, get going. And put the light down so you guys could all see it. You definitely, anytime you're changing any kind of fuel filter, doing anything to any carburetor, check your lines. These lines are really old. When you bend them, if they're all cracked, they're no good. So if you're doing a fuel filter, a good time to do the lines would be when you're doing the filter. So take note of that. All right, so you guys are gonna wanna get yourselves a little quarter inch ratchet set. Uh, we don't really know what size those nuts are. You know, if they're five sixteenths, what? That, a flathead screwdriver, Phillips to be safe maybe a pair of pliers so we could twist around the hoses if they won't pop right off air. After investigating this further, this almost seems like, I don't know if it's a return feed supplements. I don't really know how this works. This middle one here seems to go back all the way to the fuel tank. And this bottom one is from the fuel pump. So that pumps the fuel into the canister and into the, uh, the top hose, which goes to the carburetor. So I don't know why this line's here I'd have to look at the fuel system, how they are in the Dodges. If anyone knows, comment down below so I can figure this out and I can tell everybody else too. All right, next thing we're gonna do is gonna get a pan here. Just give her a toss on there. You wanna actually get it in line with your fuel filter. That way, if you have dogs or cats, you gotta watch it ain't licking this stuff up. Anytime you do things like antifreeze, fuel is not a big, as big of a deal because fuel evaporates, but still want to take that precaution so i found the size it's quarter inch i don't know if it's going to be the same on the new hose clamp so i'm going to take the top off first loosen that up hard to do one-handed don't forget when installing the new one you're going to want to use the new clamps that it comes with or get yourself new clamps like i said new hose it's the time to do it right now and uh they do give you new ones with that so let me get these other two clamps off there and then we'll pull the old filter out A quarter inch short well is what you need for the middle one. That one will not come out with a deep well socket. It hits into this uh, alternator bracket and alternator. That one out. And I want to remember where all these go too. You don't want to switch your lines up. I mean, it's pretty hard to do. I've been in that position for how many years, but it is possible. Now, both my inlet and outlet are stuck. So if you get this middle one off, I found, let me focus on that. There you go. Uh, if you just spin it, you could use that little nipple sticking out. Just go like this. Did you hear it break free? You break the uh, inlet and outlet free, make it a little bit easier to pull off. Watch this gas if you don't have an LED light. Shake it out. And here's what the old one looks like. So, when taking it out, the center. In our case, this is gonna be a big no-no, but we're gonna put this new fuel filter back in with these old clamps, and here's why. Everything is in position right now to be tightened. I inspected everything, everything is pretty good. And also, we're kind of on a time crunch here. So we're just gonna put it in the way we took it out. Remember, we pulled it, yanked it out like this. So we're gonna slip the new one down in here first. We're not gonna tighten anything. We're gonna do it the way we took it out. Just like before, you're gonna wanna twist. If, you, if you're having trouble getting it in, just start twisting. And see, they'll just go like right into place. 
some pressure on it. Start twisting it in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave myself some room. I'm gonna tighten the bottom, the top, and then we'll plug this one back in and tighten up this auxiliary. If you guys are watching the channel right now and you're kinda new, you'll find that, uh, you'll probably find me humorous at times because I tell you the right thing to do and then I do the opposite. That's more of a don't do as I do, do as I say type deal. It's not a good habit for me to be have, but every circumstance with like when you're, we do a lot of homesteading and farming. So if you found this from a Dodge D-150 truck search or how to change a fuel filter, uh, yeah, that stuff you kind of got to just like do with experience. I could have changed over all these hose clamps, but later on what I'll do is I'll just make a day out of it. Even though our lines ain't all dry rotted, I'm probably going to just change them. That way I don't have to worry about it. So we got this one tight. Oh, now's a good time for you to subscribe to the channel too. If you haven't done that, hit the subscribe button. It's pretty easy. I can keep making these videos. If you guys don't subscribe, it kind of hurts the channel. Also, throw me a comment. Constructive criticism is always welcome on our channel. Got that top one here. Oh, and hit the bell notification too. Or you won't receive updates whenever I put all, all the new videos on the $500 farm truck. And the $500 farm truck just speaks for itself. We got this truck for $500 and I'm showing you the right way to fix everything on it. That way, if you guys have inexperience or don't know really what you're doing, I'm not a professional by any means, but it's going to give you an idea of how to do things. So yeah, there's probably better ways to change this fuel filter. I don't know, but I did pretty good. I got the fuel filter on there. We're almost done. Pop this other line back on. Next thing you're going to want to do is remove your pan. And yes, I did drop my wrench in there. Next step is to clear out all your lights. Clear your engine bay. Make sure everything's secure in here. Things ain't gonna fall into your radiator and your fan and destroy your engine. These old trucks, keep all your extra parts, hose clamps, whatever, thermostats, nice to keep in the glove compartment. Cause for the most part with like a crescent wrench and a couple screwdrivers, you can fix these on the road. We're gonna start up the truck, check it for leaks, make sure we have no leaks, and then we know we're good to go. Now, when you start this truck, you let all kind of air into your fuel system. So to keep it running, your fuel pump runs off the cam of your motor, and that's what keeps pumping, pumping, pumping it. So I would give it a couple pumps on your fuel throttle, uh, on your gas pedal, and then just hold just down like a quarter inch until it gets the fuel pumping in her. It's built some fuel pressure and it's not going to shut off. Let's get out here. Check for leaks now. I don't see nothing wet. I'm going to crawl under the truck and see if I can see anything dripping. Everything's pretty dry. I think we're good to go. Hey, thanks for watching the channel. Like I said, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button if you like videos like this, old car trucks, homesteading videos. Summer's here, springtime, so all my followers, we're gonna have a lot of cool stuff in store. I know you've been waiting. I know it's been cold and we've been doing like boring do-it-yourself stuff, hot water tanks, but it's gonna get better. So, short video, how to change a fuel filter in your car, truck, lawnmower. It's all the same, guys. Thanks for watching.